In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Before I begin, let us pray. Almighty God and Father, Creator of heaven and earth, we thank you for all the good things you have given to us. We thank you for the gift of life. We pray that we use them judiciously to build our society and our human relationships through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are welcome, my dear brothers and sisters, to Father Talk. I want to continue our discussion about expectations of our Christian lives. What is expected of us? Well, during my last episode, I talked about faith, I talked about ordeals. As a Christian living on earth here, you must expect the unexpected because we are living side by side with the evil one. Today, how to overcome these tendencies? One of the major things is this prayer. With prayer, you can overcome the traits of the evil one. And you remember the temptations of Jesus Christ. Satan tried to trick him with many things. But Jesus also used the Bible. Because it was in prayer too. In our lives too, we must be able to understand the Bible. Must be able to pray, must be able to communicate with God through prayer so that we are always with the grace of God. We pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Let's take from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7, from verse 7 and following. Jesus Christ said, Ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. We must ask. We must seek God. We must knock the doors of the kingdom of God. In Luke chapter 18, Jesus Christ recommended that we must continually pray without having despair, day and night. If you are oppressed, give it to God. If you are in trouble, give it to God. When you are sick and you are confused, turn to God, to our Heavenly Father, who is ready to listen to you and I. And above all, let's take the text from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians chapter 4, from verse 4, 6 and following. St. Paul said, Be joyful always, and be joyful always. Be happy always, and always be happy. He went on to say, You don't have to worry about anything. Whatever you need in life, turn to God with thanksgiving and supplication. Then the God of peace will answer you. The God of peace will come to your aid. Today, I want to emphasize that because without prayer, you are dead. Without prayer, you cannot think very well. Prayer will help you to realize your desires in life. Prayer will also aid you, connect you to the Spirit of God. So when Christ said in John's Gospel, chapter 4, he said, through worshippers will come to worship God from the east and the west and truth and in spirit. So we have to be with God in truth and in spirit. We need to be in the spirit with the Lord. If you do not pray, that will not happen to you. That is the reason I have taken this episode specifically to mention to you that prayer is very vital for you in your lives. As a Christian, you must be able to pray. Pray in the morning hours, in the afternoon and the evening hours. Then do your little meditation. And from your meditations, realize about what God will do in your life. 